Hello guys, my name is Khan <clears throat> and actually in this video I will show you guys that how you can use uh, a data range controls in Google Data Studio. Actually what is data range control uh, function or an option you can use in Data Studio is that it allows you to filter your data according to the data range that you have. So for this video I will be using a data set this data set actually is some market data it's an index data that i have so if i open it up it's in the csv format you can see that i have index which is some insurance index i have related to european insurance and then i have a date variable and then i have a price index for that and i have the date variable starting from 1993 and it's uh, daily data and it's going up to you can say the first January of uh, 2019 so I will first upload this data and then we will try to make some uh, time graph uh, and sorry time series graph and then we will be using a data range control and I will show you guys that how you can use it and about what are the things that you have to be careful when you will be using data range control so i will close so actually i will go to my browser and now the first thing is i will start making it from scratch so i will go to create my blank uh, google data studio so the first thing is i will be importing the data into the studio so i think better to rename it first how to use <coughs> data range control data studio and now we will import the data so as the data is coming from my computer so therefore I will be using a file upload option and then I will be using click to upload files this is the data set that I want to upload and I'll just open. So if I look down, it's loading my data and you can see it's processing. So once the processing will complete, this connect button will be ready to click. So it's uploaded. You can see connect button is ready to be clicked. So you can see that my date variable automatically uh, got identified as a date but sometimes you have to change the variable type according to your need and my price index is number index is text okay everything looks good in terms of the type of the variable I will say okay add to the report I say okay add to the report so now we are ready to start making a dashboard so what the first thing what I will do is I will go and insert some suppose time series graph so because it have already identified that what is the date variable so it will have created a graph for me in which uh, on the x-axis we have the dates and on my y-axis is showing the price index variable make it a bit bigger and then in the right corner and now what I will do uh, the first thing uh, that I want to add a date range control if you look at your functionalities in the Google Data Studio here where there is a calendar sign actually this will allow you to insert date date range control so I will click it so now we I have a date range control because I have a very selective data so it have automatically decided that and there is only one date variable and based on it i can select the date but let's see because currently when i edit mode let's see how it looks like in the view mode so if i go to view so now if i click it so as you can see my data is starting from 1st january till from 1993 till 1st january 2019 so i can select the data accordingly from here so what i will do I will click the year so I'll first select so suppose if I want to see the data from 2001 and then I want to see the data till 2017 I will select the 
first January 2017. So everything is fine. Apply. So now you can see my graph got updated according to this filter. It's showing me from 1st January 2001 till 2017. So this is the way and I will go back to my edit view. And you can select this and you can even format it a bit in different styles. So suppose if I want to uh, select a bit different font style, a bit uh, larger font style, 30. So this is my uh, font size get increased. I can even change the header styles. I can even label it and I can also use background and border colors. So if I, I want to change the background color, I can even change the background color to suppose yellow. Let's see, it looks like this. So you can play around with different options here. Uh, but the important thing is that on your data, there is also an option at data. So currently uh, there is not selected range, but here it's written down the auto data range. The auto data range, what will do, it will almost show the all the data that you have. But you suppose if you don't want that all the data get shown on your graph because maybe there is data which is very old and you don't want to be sh get shown because it's no longer important now. So you can select that you can say that instead of oh so you can select the data range here. So suppose if I want to see only 2010 onward data till 1st January of 2019. And I will select it uh, here. So they said I want to see data from 2010 onward till 1st January uh, 2019. So I will select it. So Applied. So now this is the uh, data range which will be selected uh, by default. So now if I go, you will see, let's see how it shows. So if I go to view, it's showing me that I have selected the data from 1st January till 1st January 2019. Let me make it a bigger so that you're able to see it. So I'll select it. So and now if I go back to view mode. So you can see that the data which is shown on the graph is 1st January 2010 till 1st January 2019 by default. But suppose as a user, if I want to change this data range or date range, I can even then select it and I can move around with the dates I want. Suppose if I want to see 2009 to select it, January, 1st January, apply. And now you can see that even now you can see the data according to your own range. Now I will go back and then I will discuss one more thing for which you have to be careful. So suppose if I create a copy of this graph. And so suppose if I uh, say right click duplicate this graph and if I drag this duplicated graph and here. So this is the both the graphs are same and now if I go to view mode this uh, data range control will be controlling uh, both of these graphs because the date range controls that you will create in a page will be applicable for the whole page uh, until you do something which can uh, which will disconnect this connection so if i go back to my view mode and let's see if i make the change so if uh, whatever make i will change that will be applicable to both of these graphs let's see I will say now I want to see from 2001 January 1st apply as you can see that both of my graphs got updated and both are showing me the data from 2001 onward but what are the things that you have to be careful which can disconnect this connection between day train control and uh, between your graphs so currently if I go back to edit view and if I select this graph, under the select this graph, if I go to this data option, under the data option, there is an, uh, if I scroll down, there is an option default data range. So if I customize this uh, data range, 
then I will disconnect this graph from this data range control. So be careful when you use this custom data def uh, default date range. Uh, then it will disconnect your graph from this uh, date date range control. So let's see if I custom it. And suppose if I want to see it for uh, suppose for all data range. So let's see. So suppose if I want to see it from 1993 till 2000, I will go. I will select from 1993 and be saying January 1st and then I will be saying okay here I want to see the data from uh, 2000 till 2000 January 2000 and after apply so now this is showing me the data from 1st January because we don't have the data from 1st January so it's not showing anything here it's showing me the data from where we have the data in our data set till the 2000 and let's see that now if I go to my view mode and if I select the, select some data or use this data range control will it be applicable on both of this graph or will it be applicable only on this graph uh, because as I said that once you use this custom range on this graph uh, this will disconnect your graph from this data range control but it's better to view go to into view and see practically so i will go to my view so let's see if i select this range now will it uh, both graphs updated accordingly or not so let's see so now if i select uh, some other range uh, suppose 2014 and now see as you can see because of that customization this graph connection got disconnected with this and we have only this graph got connected with this thing uh, i will go back to edit so suppose if you accidentally have uh, done something and the connection got broke uh, the thing that you have to you can build the connection again suppose by clicking that data range control and then you will click the graph and then if you go to arrange uh, in that you can group it so the connection will be established again so this is all about uh, the data range control video so thank you for watching the video